Hello, Nina joins School District, Austin Moore, your tech coach here. Just wanted to quickly run through Web Help Desk and how we can use it. To submit a ticket for Web Help Desk, the easiest way is to just simply go to Compose and type Help. Help Desk will pop right up and you can include information about your problem. Now what should you include? We really need you to include your name, your school number, or your school, the room number, and the asset tag number. Now this is a gray sticker on the back of your device. Uh, sometimes on the iPads it's on a, a label. It's a five digit number and that number really helps us narrow down the device and what we can do to help solve your problem quickly and efficiently. In the body of the message include any information you can. Uh, if you're having problems logging in, what are you having problems logging into? If a website doesn't work, specific websites really help us to narrow down things and get those things solved for you as quickly as possible. Now once you submit a web help desk, you will get a little email that looks like this that says the ticket is open and right in here it will tell you what you wrote. Now all along the way you will get updates if anybody uh, has the ticket assigned to them. So this is be where one of the techs actually gets the ticket assigned to them. Then any comments they make. If something changes right here, you have the ability to add a note. This note, you can delete this and type the problem is only in Schoology or whatever your problem may be. We want to, uh, any additional information you can give us is important. Now you may get these back with a question. What website is it? How often is it happening? Is it all students? What browser are you using? All these sorts of things. If you don't know, let us know. Say, I'm not sure, but all the information you give us is important. When your web help desk is finished, you will get something that looks like this, and this is probably the most important piece of the web help desk process. Right here you will see, was your issue resolved, yes or no? So if you don't think it is, click no. If it was, click yes and you're all set. You have a couple of days to answer this or the ticket will automatically be closed. So it's important that you respond to this. This helps us communicate back and forth and know whether the ticket is done or not. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, this is Austin Moore. Have a great day.